Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to show you an easy way for using data queues without using APIs from our RPG programs. Of course, I'm going to use SQL. As always, we will do it with an example. Um, first of all, let's create a data queue in my library using create, create data queue command. Okay, let's create data queue. I need a name, for example, test data queue, and uh, the library. Okay, this will be a standard type, uh, and standard data queue, and my uh, length will be 50 characters. Okay, and the sequence will be first in, first out. Okay. It is created. So if you go here, you see this is the data queue that I'm going to use in my example. Okay, now, um, as you know, uh, data queues are useful for processing information with an order. Uh, with one program or more than one program, uh, we are filling that queue with all the information we need. And there is a program usually working in batch in waiting mode, uh, reading the data queue and processing the information. So every time the program receives something from the data queue is processed. Okay. So, uh, well, I have made a simple, a simple program. Uh, let's go to the BS code. Let's connect to the IBM I. Okay, and let's open the, the source of my program. It is a SQL RPG program because I'm going to use SQL functions. So this is the program. It is very simple. Um, the first thing I have uh, have done is um, define a simple structure to store the information I want to add to my data queue. Data queue. As you see, the data structure has a record size of 50, uh, the same as we used when we created the data queue before. This is very important. Uh, well. This is the data queue I'm going to use, the library, and this is my main procedure. Um, this is the first thing I'm going, I'm, I'm doing, is adding information to, to my data queue. Uh, I'm filling my structure, and I'm calling this procedure that is making the job, okay? I'm adding two elements, as you see. And after that, I'm uh, retrieving the information from the data queue. Um, well, I'm writing this here, but uh, well, uh, as I have uh, defined the data queue as FIFO, uh, I will get uh, first the first element that is this, and uh, after that I will get the second element that is this. If I define the data queue uh, in a different way, L-I-F-O, I will get the second and after that the first element. Okay? Well, um, well I'm, uh, this way I'm retrieving the, the information from the data queue and I'm displaying uh, the information. Okay? Well, as you see, it's very simple. Let's let's go uh, and let's see how the procedures are defined. First one is uh, add to data queue. This procedure is the one that adds information into my data queue. Data, data queue. Um, as you see, it is just uh, a simple SQL um, a simple SQL sentence. Okay. Um, just using this, I'm adding the information to the data queue. 
okay? It is very simple. And the second procedure, it is very simple too, is just a select. It is just a select, an SQL select. I'm uh, making a select into a into uh, data structure from this table. This is a special table. And I'm given these three parameters, these four parameters, okay? Third one is the data uh, data queue. So one is the library where the data queue is. is. And uh, this parameter is important because if I set remove yes, I'm telling the, the function uh, to get to the retrieve the information and remove it from the data queue, okay? And this, the last parameter, a wait time, I have uh, set it to one. Mm, well, this is the time uh, that uh, this is waiting for information in the, in the data queue. Um, if I need to have a program in batch mode waiting for information in the data queue, uh, I should use here uh, a negative number, okay? Well, as you see, the program is, is very, very simple. So let's um, compile it, okay? Let's compile it. Okay, it is, it is done. And let's go to the green screen to test it. Okay, so let's start at the box session. Test SQL 0 4. Okay, um, let's wait it in the first sentence and call it. Okay, now the first thing I'm, I'm doing is filling the that data structure, okay, my data structure is, is this, and I'm adding the information to my data queue. Let's go into the procedure. As you see, I'm calling this function, SQL function, and uh, it is making all the job of the work, okay? It is done. Okay, the second one. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is to retrieve the information from the data queue. Uh, as the data queue is defined at FIFO, I will get uh, the first one. Okay, so uh, let's test it. Now the information is there because this is the last element I have added. And if I enter here, and I make the select, okay, what I have retrieved is the first one. So it is working great, okay. And now I'm getting the second one. Okay, if I see my job log, This is the first one I'm, the first element I'm retrieving. And this is the second element I have retrieved. So as you see, the program is working fine and it is very simple. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.